Here's a quick response to um, Sonic Angel, who sent me a link to videos by Lloyd Pye, P-Y-E, who has a theory that human beings are a hybrid of a um, hominid that originated on the earth and some other creature from some other planet. The human beings are the product of interbreeding between two different worlds. I see absolutely no evidence of that. For what it's worth, I have my own theory of human origins which is sim similar to which is similar to uh, the familiar term natural selection but natural selection is a little bit too weak to describe my theory and my theory could better be described as natural forcing natural forcing by which I mean circumstances caused changes changes were forced upon certain animals and although evolution has no conscious motive natural forcing produces change very briefly my theory my theory shows a lineage beginning with four-legged creatures four-legged creatures which stand in much the same stance as a horse or a pig or a possum or an alligator on four legs and as these four-legged creatures adapted to life in trees, they became four-legged climbing creatures, and their feet adapted to climbing and grasping, such as an ape in a tree, using four limbs to climb tree limbs using its arms and legs to climb and maneuver about on tree limbs finding its food and finding shelter finding um, safety from predators by living in trees unknown to most people including most scientists the earth was plunged into a prolonged ice age in which we find ourselves still a graph of global temperature shows that the most recent 10 million years is a period where average global temperatures plunged from 22 degrees centigrade to 12 degrees centigrade this causes a drop in rainfall so that lush jungles for example turn into dry grassland over the course of millions of years jungles transformed into grasslands what would happen to creatures whose home was in trees while the jungles turned into grasslands the tree swingers would have to become walkers these tree swingers had already begun to assume an upright position in their climbing and were able to stand and walk with difficulty on two legs on two legs as they began to move from tree to tree in search of food and shelter and safety from predators 
individuals who were more successful in moving <clears throat> from tree to tree, from across the ground from one tree over a, a space, a distance to the next tree, who could elude predators, were able to survive and reproduce, and those who were less able to move rapidly across a distance between the trees failed to live and failed to reproduce and so the trait of walking or running rapidly on two legs was quote rewarded unquote by natural selection with survival as these two-legged walkers were further transformed into were further transformed into into more agile and more efficient two-legged walkers the pelvic opening progressively narrowed to the point where childbirth became difficult almost impossible at this point you needed general basic understanding of the human pelvic bone structure at the base of which at the bottom of which is a circular opening uh, through which passes the birth canal among other things under these circumstances a two-legged walker or a so-called biped who was able to give birth somewhat prematurely was more likely to survive over a period of time of a million years or so of progressively more truncated gestation these two-legged walkers produced children who were increasingly helpless and in need of more care so you had premature babies who did some of their development outside the womb some of the development that would have occurred inside the womb was now occurring outside the womb they were being born soon sooner but were increasingly dependent on parental care and in fact not only parental care but community care and of course the two-legged walkers now had their upper limbs free to manipulate so we had two two-legged walkers with hands having been tree climbers they had fingers and thumbs opposable thumbs to an extent at least the young had opposable thumbs the adults lost the ability to oppose a thumb against the four fingers as modern apes do not really have opposable thumbs but juvenile apes do have opposable thumbs juvenile apes tend to have hair on the top of their heads and in the armpits and in the pubic areas very little hair elsewhere juveniles tend to stand on two legs erect as a human does and adult apes tend to revert to traveling on all four legs it was the ice age that created human beings through a narrowing of the pelvic bone which was the result of the necessity of having to walk on two legs <clears throat>